A man is arrested for bringing illegal drugs into the Tulsa County Courthouse. Thanks for joining us, I'm Rick Marinon. And I'm Abigail Dye, Shay and Sarah have the night off. The arrest happened this morning around 10 a.m. after they say the man was trying to hand out political flyers. And a Fox 23 crime alert, Fox 23's John Asibas joins us live after speaking with deputies, John, and this is a pretty interesting story you got here. It is reasonably so. You can hand out pamphlets outside the courthouse, but what you can't do is hand out pamphlets inside the courthouse, and what you definitely can't do is bring drugs inside the courthouse. This is Aaron Livingston, a man armed with pamphlets. He was actually in the hallway handing out flyers uh, that were political in nature. Deputies say his campaign was unlike any other. This is definitely a new one. Tulsa so County Sheriff's right. Media Coordinator Ashley Wheeler says he came to the Tulsa County Courthouse Friday morning and do what most people do go through security. Well, everybody that goes into the courthouse, they do go through a metal detector, but that's only to discover if there's weapons on them. They said Livingston was asked to stop, so he did, and then continued making his way up the courthouse. The deputies are asked to step back and says that they are stopping him from doing his business there. They step back about 10 feet, allow him to carry on with his business. His business was upstairs. Deputies say he came up to the second story and went over to the small claims area where he was trying to solve a legitimate issue, but caused enough of an issue to where deputies asked him to step back and after they searched him that's when they found the drugs. He became physically and verbally abusive to our deputies and that is when they found about 24 grams of meth on his person. And just like that he was out of pamphlets and out about 24 grams of meth. If uh, he wasn't making a disturbance or wasn't raising his voice we never probably would have found the meth on him in the first place. Deputies say it wasn't his first time in the courthouse. He was there on Tuesday causing the same thing causing a disturbance. And now it likely won't be his last. I asked about the security just walking in. I was just wondering, is there any way to prevent that kind of thing? They said we, you know, we scan for metal detectors, guns, knives, those kinds of things. So that happened to make its way in there. As for Livingston, he's been booked on resisting arrest and meth drug trafficking. Covering news that matters, John Bis, Fox 23 News.